Nicole Scott here at IDF 2013 and here I am at the Lenovo ThinkPad booth. So I'm taking a look at the X240 and I actually was an X220 user. I really love the build quality of these devices. I had chips out of the corners of mine. The display probably shouldn't have worked from the amount of times that I dropped it. And I have to thank the magnesium roll cage that all ThinkPads have built in that make them really, really rugged devices. If you're like not a bit like, I guess I'm a business user, but I'm just, you know, really hard on my devices. If you're really hard on your devices to coffee shops, maybe you should consider a ThinkPad. You could just put some cool stuff on it to make it look less stodgy. But here we have the 240, 12.5 inch display. We don't want to do updates, but ah, damn it. Well, anyways, let's see if we can get in. Here we go. So it is running Windows 8 with a touchscreen and it is matte. Now, if you look at the keyboard, I love the depth on the keys of the Lenovo's. They're just, there's a reason why ThinkPads are the industry standard for, key, for keyboards. Another really nice addition is the drop down hinge. So if you take a look at the way this hinge works here, it's dropped down into the base, which actually makes it really nice and sturdy. If you look at the old style over here, you can see that it, the hinge is raised up. So it, this kind of style adds to the thing thickness and the weight point is kind of put on the lid which is thinner so this actually makes it a, a much more durable construction and I like the way that the back is aligned here with the overlap it's really nice now while we're over here why don't we take a quick look at the ports so we have the Kensington lock here on the side full-size Ethernet we have a 3G SIM card which is great full-size SD card slot there is a USB connector right here and that is powered so you can charge your devices when it's off which is great and a headphone jack around the front we don't have anything and around the other side we have that smart dock connector display port another USB 2 2.0 port full-size VGA which is fantastic uh, here's the heat vent and the PSU now if we take a look at the back you can see that I have this enormous six cell battery in here now what's cool about this device is that there's another three cell down here on the bottom so that if you're working you don't need to shut down in order to switch out the battery so if we kind of look at this let's unplug this I'll just push this out because I'm very talented at changing up batteries. There we go. And then here's the three cell. So it is a lot thinner. Ooh. 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 <laughs> All right. I'm not having trouble getting this in. This is just we go finally got the three cell battery into the computer so this is a really rugged really durable device I'm a huge fan of this lineup uh, it even has a fingerprint reader for those of you in business one of the other things that I want to point out is the trackpad now it does have the traditional thinkpad um, nub up here now but the thing is they've they've, they've they've integrated the buttons into the trackpad but if you take a look the trackpad is extremely high quality. You see that the entire pad actually clicks down, which makes it like a much more sturdy, much more superior design. And they've actually increased the size of the trackpad, which is great. Even though you have the touchscreen, um, you still the touchscreen definitely isn't a replacement for the trackpad or the nub. So you actually have three different ways that you can interact with your screen, which I think is really great. So it's Core i5, Core i7, um, up to 12 gigabytes of RAM, and I believe you can get a terabyte, up to a terabyte hard drive in there. So I'm a really big fan of the Lenovo ThinkPad line. Uh, so I'm Nicole Scott from Mobile Geeks taking a look at what's new with ThinkPads.